So today I'm going to cover the A02.11 Mac architecture. Objective. Upon completion of this course, you'll be able to describe A02.11 frame format, distinguish the type and function of three A02.11 frame. Oh, this is the content. We will start from the A02.11 frame. So this is a frame look like for the A02.11. The maximum length of an A02.11 frame is 2346 byte. The A02.11 frame format is as follow. So it will look like this. So they have 2 byte for frame control. Then they have another 2 bytes for the duration ID. So from these places, you will notice they have a total of four different address. Okay, the first address, they always refer to the receiver. So the receiver means is um, your um, destination address. Then the next one, they have a sender. So this frame is actually sent, uh, sent by who? So the address should be located in this field. Then the next address tree is a field there and uh, address number four, optional. So this one will be based on what kind of the frame that uh, we currently use. So different frame, the, ad uh, the address's location will be different. All right, so at the middle here, between the address three and address four, they have sequence control. Okay, and this is two by. The frame body. So this frame body is referred to our um, data. So it will be depend on what kind of the data frame that we forward. So every single A02.11 frame is only support up to 2,312 okay, in byte. So this is the size. And the last one is 4 byte used for the uh, FCS. So let's begin on the first one, the frame control. So the frame control actually is located on the front okay this is the very beginning part frame control they have two byte so after as many so you become 16 bit so all frames start with the frame control bit the frame control uh, contain the following bit so they have two bit is for the protocol and two bit is for the type subtype is have four bit then the remaining here they have total of 8 bit. So this bit we're going to uh, uh, let us know to understanding this frame is come from where. So they have uh, information to DS and from DS. So this one can uh, create um, informers. Right now the frame is come from where. All right. So to DS mean I'm going to forward the frame to the uh, uplink, okay, the distribution systems from DS. If the bit here is one, so that means right now the frame is come from the DS. Okay, they have another option: the more frame we try, the power management uh, data, product frame, and the order. The duration ID. The duration bit record the NAV value. It specifies the time limit for access medium. So the duration ID is located after the frame control. So it also have two bytes. Okay, this is 16 bit inside the duration ID. Then the next is the address. So the address field contains the different type of the MAC address. So this is the reason why they have six bytes. Our MAC address also using six bytes. The address type depends on the frame type. So what kind of frame right now is uh, actually we receive? Then the next one is a sequence control. So this field content of 16 bit. In another word, this is two bytes. So it's used to reassemble of the fragment and the repeated frame that are discarded. So this field consists of a 4-bit fragment number and 12-bit sequence number. Okay, so this is a fragment. 
that have 4 bit and another 12 bit will be used for the sequence number. Then this one is a frame body. So the frame body is just our data. Okay, so it's called data bit. It's transmit upper layer data between the workstation, our SDA. A02.11 frames can transmit 2312 bit group of the data. Okay, this is the maximum size. So if this one is already set, then you have to wait for the next queue because um, the A02.11 is belong to the half duplex. So every SDA want to follow the frame, okay, they need to queue for the data transmit. So this is the maximum size per frame. And the last, the check sequence. An A02.11 frame ends with a frame check sequence. The workstation use the FCS to check whether the received frame is complete. Okay, so this is our FCS. So you're going to verify, uh, is it, this is a complete uh, the, the frame that we already received. And also the reason when we try to download some of the, uh, the data from a network, or you're doing some uh, the file transferring. So how our station will know this, this file is already complete downloaded. Okay, so because all will be the FCS. So this one you're going to inform the STA. Right now you already complete downloading everything. So for the frame type, they have three different different types. So the data frame. So basically the data frame will be the frame used by our SDA, the miner, or maybe the server. So those kind of the information. So all belong to the data frame. Then the next one, control frame. The control frame is used with the data frame. Before we can able to send out the data frame, so our station, the SDA, and also the AP access point, both then have to using the control frame, okay, to um, confirm the uh, the channel. So before they can able to forward the frame, okay, because uh, one IP they might connect it to so many SDA. So which SDA have the first priority can able to forward the frame? So all those will be based on control frame. Then the last here have a management frame. So the management frame monitor the device either or creating the wireless network. So basically the management frame is those frame we call as the, the prop request, prop uh, uh, response, the beacon, um, association or authentication. Okay, so those, those three is when we are trying to associate with our AP. Okay, just again, here I show you the complete uh, frame format. Okay, so just now we already discussed uh, the, the frame control. Okay, now we're going to cover here the data frame. So the data frame, the upper layer protocol data is encapsulated in the frame body for transmissions. The bit to be used depend on the data frame type. So this one is inside the control frame. So the bit we're going to show you. Right now the frame is come from where? So this is a function, okay? to DS from DS. So when the B for uh, to DS is zero, from DS also is zero. So right now it's zero on both sides. But this kind of frame, it doesn't come from an AP and also it's not sent from the AP. So this kind of frame we'll call as the IBSS. So maybe right now this kind of frame, when we try to uh, sniff uh, on the um, the surrounding, so you notice they have no bit for the 2DS or from DS. So basically right now this frame is belong to the, uh, maybe those of the wireless point to point, or they're doing the ad hoc data transmission. So this field, they have address number one, address number two. So address number one is the destination address, okay, where you want to send the source address and you connect it to which AP. Okay, 
in the BSS ID. Then they have no nothing on the address number four. To A bit, the bit inside uh, here to DS will have one bit. From DS is zero, so that means currently the frame is sending to the uplink. So when we send it to the uplink, basically this uh, this frame is belong to the SDA, and this SDA want to forward the frame to the AP. So that's why they have two DS one bit. So it will show you the BSS ID. So which AP I connected to? Then the source address sent from which SDA, and the address your destination MAC address. Okay, because uh, the AP will become my agent already, so uh, I will need to use the AP to forward to the destination. So the next one, from AP. From AP, the bit to DS is 0. From DS is 1. So basically, this frame is come from the AP. So right here, they will show you what is the destination MAC address. Uh, right now, the, uh, the field will be slightly different compared to the previous one. So this is the destination. And the address number two will be the BSSID. They come from which AP? Field number three is the source address. So the, this frame is originated by who? And the last, WDS. This one is only happening when the 2DS and from DS, the B is one. So only when uh, this frame they unlock the field number four. So from here, because we are running the WDS, it's a wireless bridging in the point to point. So we need to understand, uh, understand right now, this frame is come from which AP to which AP. Okay, the source, uh, sorry, the destination AP and the source AP. And this frame is going to forward to which SDA and come from which SDA. So this is a figure showing uh, all the frames look like. Okay, the first process, the BSS ID can be used to discard signal from other BSS. Okay, the source address, and this is the uh, destination address. Then the next one is this one. So uh, my frame, I'm going to forward to the another destination. Okay, another area. So this kind of frame to DS will have one bit. From DS is zero. Then this one. This is the frame sent by the AP and reply to the PC. Okay, our SDA. So this frame format, the from DS will have one bit. And this one. The last one over here, when we try to sniff the packet over here, we will notice the from DS and to DS both also one bit. Okay, because right now they're running the WDS point to point. Number three, control frame. The control frame using the um, the same frame format as the previous one, okay, the data frame. So they also have this information in the frame control. So this control frame, it doesn't carry any data information. Okay, just now the data frame will be the, uh, the frame carry the data. So this control frame is just some very simple information. It's used to prevent the, um, the collision. All right, so the first one, they'll have the RTS. The RTS is referred to the request to send. Okay, so this is happening to our SDA. If the SDA, uh, our laptop, want to sending some of the frame to go online, so the first frame, they always is RTS. Okay, they're going to send a request to the AP and try to occupy the channel to forward the data. Okay, so this is RTS. Then the next one is called CTS, clear to send. So this clear to send can be sent by the AP. So the AP will go to choose which SDA have the highest priority, and then you give the priority to the SDA to access. 
So when the STM receive the CTS, so he can able to occupy the channel and follow the frame first. Okay, so this is clear to send. Then for the have the acknowledge. So this is very simple. The acknowledge is only happening. Right now, I am the AP, and I already fully received your frame that you forward to me. So I already fully received your frame data, and I'm going to send your uh, the information acknowledge okay, to inform you that I fully received the frame that you forward to me. And the last frame here is the PS pool. So this one is when the client wake up from the power saving mode. So when we connecting to the wireless and maybe we have a um, few minutes and we didn't touch on uh, the network services. So our PC might enter into the sleep mode. Okay, so when you wake up from a sleep mode, our PC, the first frame you're going to send out will be the PS pool. Okay, so it's just trying to uh, retrieve the buffer frame from the AP. And the last one here is the management frame. So management frame provide a simple service for the network. So the format uh, of the A02.11 management frame is as below. Okay, nothing much different. It's the same. They also have two byte for the control frame. Duration ID is two byte. Four addresses. Oh, sorry, there's no number four because number four is for the um, the data frame. Okay, and this is the sequence control. So those kind of frame, uh, this use for those frame is like um the authentication frame, association, okay, the the beacon and the prop request frame. Okay, all is belong to the management. So the summary, A02.11 uh, frame structure. Okay, at the beginning, I did cover about this already. How does the frame structure is look like for the uh, A02.11? So the frame type for the A02.11 have the data frame. So the data frame is used by um, all the the end user, okay, the terminal, the device, SDN. It consists of the information. Control frame. So the control frame have the frame type like uh, RTS, CTS, Acknowledge, and also the last one is the DSPO. They okay, all belong to control frame. Then the last one, the management frame. So it's those um, authentication association frame. 